Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're going to be reacting to India introducing its new citizenship bill. And we know today is the vote for it and we are hoping to help support it and spread the word that this is good because right now, at least here in the U.S., we've seen a lot of news on it talking about anti-Muslim, you know, taking a step backwards, everybody's in an uproar again. Um, I know we've done a few other things here from the traditional hearings and where people have been against India as well. And so we are hoping to shed some light on this issue and hopefully the vote will go in a positive direction and it will be great for the country. So India introducing this new citizenship bill has caused quite an outroar with the media. BBC is saying it's an anti-Muslim law causing uproar. New York Times, India is taking a step towards blocking naturalization for Muslims. What you should know about India's anti-Muslim citizenship bill. Is it really anti-Muslim? And is everyone playing politics or is there some truth to saying it's unconstitutional? It violates the basic idea of India. This is Bill trying to divide the country. Um, the existing law says illegal immigrants are foreigners who enter India without a valid passport or travel document and stay beyond their permitted time. A person must have lived in India or worked for the federal government for at least 11 years before they can apply for their citizenship, similar to other democratic nations. We have similar stuff here as well. Immigration is great for diversity. Um, it's humane, but illegal immigration creates lots of chaos, and we have problems with that with our borders here as well. Illegal immigrants know how to take on, tend to take on low-paid jobs. They have high crime rate, use medical and other benefits at the expense of everyone else. The solution is a path to citizenship, so they can be proud citizens, as well as pay taxes like everyone else. It will help all the everyone in the country. And the new amendment bill plans to grant citizenship to illegal immigrants for only religious minorities of Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan, provided they've worked and lived in India for six years. Naturalized citizenship is an option for all others who legally claim Indian citizenship. What seems to be the problem? Those oppose the bill want Muslims to be included. But does this make this an anti-Muslim bill? Not so fast. Let's see a little bit more. Are Indian Muslims affected by this bill? Illegal immigrants drain the country's resources. Addressing this issue will make things better for everyone, including Indian Muslims and immigrants themselves. Many millions will pay taxes. In fact, great news for all. Also, immigrants will have a place that they can call their home. This does not impact Indian Muslims whatsoever. Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, there are Hindus in number since 1970, even less. Indian Muslims since the 70s have gone from less than 10% to almost 15%. Muslims have flourished in India. They have their own universities. Only Hindu temples are taxed. Muslims also have reservations in many states. And Bollywood, in Bollywood, Khans are celebrated like gods in India. Muslim versus the Hindu population growth from the 70s into now among Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, and India. About 3 million plus Hindus disappeared from these three countries, and about 140 million plus Muslims increased in India. Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, and India religious background. Pakistan is created from India specifically for Muslims. It's known as the Islamic Re Republic of Pakistan. All three countries has Muslim majority, over 90%. Recent reports suggest Pakistani Christians were sold to the Chinese for prostitution. Minorities in these countries need a place to live peacefully. There's no war at the moment in these countries. They should be able to take care of their own. The minorities are Message to Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan. Take care of your own. If you cannot respect the minorities, at least to respect your own Muslim. Respect India's borders and work with India to let these individuals back into your country. Please take care of your own. 
A message to all Indians, including Indian Muslim brothers and sisters, this law is not against Indian Muslims. India will have more taxpayers, it should benefit all. Minorities from these countries are like Muslims in India. They need a place to live in peace. India is an amazing country, so let it be. Please don't play politics. Please support this law. Everybody needs to stand behind this bill. This bill is not against Muslims. This bill is not against religion. This bill is to protect the minorities that are coming from these other countries that are not being treated fairly. And they came here illegally. You know, they came to India illegally. And I know that's like, you don't want to just give them citizenship, but it's going to better the country. They're going to pay taxes. They're going to get, you know, better jobs. That will be part of the benefit of this. The reason they can't go back to their countries where they came from, because most of these minorities are either being killed or raped, converted, sold as prostitutes. There's so many things. So they need protection. So the reason for this is to protect these minorities that are coming from these countries. So if they can't go back because of the way they've been treated, then they need a place to stay, to call their home, and you want them to be citizens so they can get a decent job, so they can pay taxes and pr produce part of, be part of the community again, be part of the country. And, and for the ones that are the majority, they need to get in line. If they need political asylum, then they can get a line and say their country is not treating them right. That, that's, that's a different thing. But if everyone is saying like, oh, it's against Muslims, no. The, the minorities in those countries are being treated terribly and they're leaving there and they're going into India and staying illegally. So India is trying to find a way to make them legal but also make them a part of the community so that they're paying taxes so that they're giving back and not just having to take because they've had to come here illegally you know and for all the media out there and all the other countries it's saying you know they're against muslims they're against you know islam india has never been against muslims their muslims have been flourishing in india you know it's that's not against Muslims. They're not against religion. They have many different religions in India. You know, this is one of those things like it will help benefit the country and it will help these, you know, minorities that have been coming from these other countries find a safe haven to call home. Because right now they're leaving these other countries because they're not being treated fairly. We've seen many a times, um, you know, Imran Khan gets up on his pedestal and, and spews hatred comments towards India, and it's not the first time. And, and they don't treat their minorities very well at all. We've seen many a time kidnap, rape, um, you know, disappearing. It's just horrible. And so to have a safe place for them to come and then to be accountable for. And if and if you don't like that, then open your doors back up and take these people back. India shouldn't be feeding them for free and they're not being accountable for, you know. So if you'd like to open your doors and um, let all these people in, go right ahead. But India is trying to make good with the people that need protecting and these minorities that are coming here from these other countries need protection. And this is not going to affect the Indian Muslims that are already in India. The only thing it's going to do is hopefully bring more tax dollars so that everybody can have a better life. And, um, you know, the one thing I think in the video they talked about, um, you know, the population. So the Muslim population has increased almost four times what it was from 1970. And the Indian population has increased more than half, more than double. And so in a place that already has 1.3 billion people, if you keep growing that big, that country is going to outgrow itself and it's not going to sustain. So hopefully this is the one thing, you know, maybe we'll do another video on 
is talking about a little bit more population control, especially in the Muslim population, but also in India's population. If you keep growing triple fold, I don't know where the room is going to find to feed everybody. Um, so another thing to think about is, you know, limiting the amount of children, putting taxes, you know, if you have more than so many, then you get a higher tax dollar than instead of feeding everybody's children. If they have too many kids and you can't afford to pay for them, then some the government has to pay for them. So you need to have some kind of way to make sure that people aren't having 15 kids, but you can only afford one or two. And now the government is paying for their other 13 of them. That's not fair to the rest of the society. So there needs to be some kind of balance in that, but we'll make a whole nother video on that. This, we wanted to make sure the Jan family backs this bill up. We want to make sure that you back this bill up and share because this is the voting is today. So make sure you're sharing, talking about it, and hopefully this will be a good thing and these minorities will get the citizenship they need to protect them from their homelands that through that they left because of um, who knows what atrocities and they will become citizens and productive um, taxpayers of India so I hope you guys enjoyed this let us know down in the comments below what the vote was and we'll see you all tomorrow bye